Hey y'all, N4H and H here. I want to show you something. Um, I've been talking about this recently with some of the Patreon members I was providing some personal support for, and now I have an opportunity to show you an example of this. So I've mentioned in previous FT8 related videos, you want to find a place on that spectrum up there that has no yellow or orange, hold your control key uh, on your keyboard and, and left click your mouse to lock in a place to operate. And then you want to click the whole TX frequency option. Let me zoom in on that. Okay, see it right there, about, about center of the display. Whole TX frequency. So you're locked into that. That's your home base for this operating session, okay? Now while we're zoomed in, I want to pan up there and show you what happened to me just now. So you see the red bracket. See the red bracket up there? Let me get my mouse pointer. See it right there? All right, that's where I locked in at 550 hertz. Now, it doesn't matter where my receive is, but when I initially locked in there, my receive was there as well. But when somebody uh, double clicks on me to work me, like answer my CQ, you know, maybe they've locked in at 2200 hertz. That's fine. That's what they should do. So when they're coming back to me, my, uh, you know, we're scanning that entire spectrum on that receive cycle. So it finds them calling me at 2200 hertz, but I'm still transmitting at 550. But look at, see that orange? That's not me. Somebody has taken over where I've been transmitting and that orange means they're quite strong. And how will I know this? All of a sudden I'm not getting answered, you know, for example, what if you're involved in a, you know, let's say you just initiated a, a conversation with somebody, you know, and I've had it happen. I mean, a rare, you know, DX. And then all of a sudden we get stuck going back and forth, back and forth. We cannot complete the contact. Well, I glance up there and look, there it is again. Somebody is transmitting strong right where I have been parked. So now let me tell you how that could happen. So guard yourself against doing this. If you did not select that box for hold TX frequency and you double click on me to chase me, you're going to move to where I am. Well, then let's say you finish operating, you know, finish working me and then you decide, well, I'm going to call CQ now. And you just go down there and you click the CQ box and then you enable transmit and you start calling CQ. Well, you're now right on top of me. So we all need to find our little portion of the spectrum and stay there. So what I'm going to have to do at this point, I have no other choice, is find another blank portion of spectrum. So I'm moving over there, you see. Now you, you notice the red and green brackets are now lined up. Now I am at 440 hertz. All right, I, I guessed at it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll maybe move it up a little bit over here. Let me pan down so you can see what I'm doing. Just a little tricks here. So I'm clicking right here and I'm just going to make that a nice even number. You don't have to. I guess it bugs me to not be an even number like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it at 450. And I'm going to go over here. And you see after that last cue, so it automatically defaults to CQ. So all I have to do is hit enable TX. So now I'm off and running again. Now the same thing could happen again. Somebody might come back to me by double clicking on my um, my call sign there in the list. And if they didn't have, well, let me pan back over there again, uh, bear with me. If they didn't have that whole TX frequency box checked, they're gonna transmit right where I am. And then if they decide after that to start calling CQ, well, they've just moved in right where I was. So we need to be uh, courteous you know, about that and be mindful of that that it's a good idea for us to find a place that we can camp out and, you know, control on the keyboard, left click the mouse, stay there by, by uh, you know, selecting that box for hold TX frequency and camp there your entire operating session unless you run into a situation like I just had happen to me. And, uh, you know, and you see I had no choice. That other station was so strong. If they're orange, you know, I'm, I'm running 50 watts. If they're orange, they're going to block me out. And again, a, a clue that that may be happening to you, even if you're not. No, look at there. Somebody's, oh no, they're coming back to me. <laughs> okay. But see, look what they've done. 
Oh, uh, that's an example of it. Yeah, I just, I'm going to log him. Um, him, her, whoever it is. Uh, but see, that tells you right there, they did not have their whole, boy, this is turning out to be a great opportunity video here. Uh, you know how my channel is. I, I come down here to operate and then something happens and I go, oh, well, that's great. Let me show the viewers. So you've had a couple of things happen here you got to see. So this person that just worked me did not have whole TX um, locked in or selected on theirs. And when they double click to work me, they were automatically transmitting in my portion of spectrum. Now I'm enabling TX again. I'm going to call CQ. Fortunately, look, that person has not decided to start calling CQ where I am. You see it? The orange that you see there, that was them coming back to me. Now they're, they've gone away. That's, that's what you should do. If you decide that you want to start calling CQ, go find your own space, control, click your left, click your mouse, and select that whole TX frequency box and you know call that your space until somebody nudges you out. So uh, back to what I was saying, again, the giveaway is that you might be struggling with that is, is that you're in the middle of a QSO and all of a sudden it's going back and forth and back and forth and you can't get the final Roger. Look up there at the spectrum where you are and if you see a bunch of orange or, or even some bold yellow, but especially orange, you're probably getting covered up, especially if you're running a uh, lower power level. Okay, just a quick tip there that I thought I'd throw out at you since I had the opportunity which presented itself. Okay, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thank you to the Patreon support team who bring you these videos. If you're watching a video now, it's because of what I call the long haulers. They've uh, joined through the Patreon program and supported this channel for a year and two and even more. Those long haulers are what, you know, funds the channel enough that I can keep these videos coming. I appreciate any, any level you can help though. Uh, there are three levels of support. You can find one that's comfortable for you if you like this type of content and want to see it continue. Uh, you can vote, as they say, vote with your wallet to help uh, offset the cost of doing this. To uh, join that team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And if you would, give the video a thumbs up, a like. That helps us out with YouTube's search algorithm and costs you nothing. And you're actually helping the channel uh, by doing that. And also consider subscribing to the channel. That helps as well. If you do subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video, usually two a week, occasionally a third. And also, finally, if you would, please share the link to this video on social media, text message, email, or phone a friend. Hey, thanks again for watching, and 73 from N4HNH.